Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you can. Before we start, please be sure that you speak in a nice way, no bad words, no bad language. And we are here to talk about Islam, not about Muslims. Muslims is not our case. However, we have uh, a Disneyland. A Disneyland, but uh, this is a Disneyland of today, of Islam. But some people, they want to provide us with different image of Islam, make us believe that Islam is so beautiful. Islam like a Disneyland, it's like so, so good to be true. But there is some bad, you know, uh, ones who have a bad interpretation of Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland is not what you think, it's Disneyland. It's there where Mickey Mouse and uh, the cartoon and uh, Alice in the Wonderland, Cinderella, all the beautiful stories. Uh, that is, that's what they want to say to us. So today I was uh, uh, looking for news and uh, I found this article. Uh, we will start with this one first. This is uh, a Muslim woman. She is from India, I guess. And uh, the Muslim cleric, they are attacking her because she married a Hindu person, I think. And she is doing things which is not accepted in Islam. So this article contain uh, like two sides. Uh, one Muslim, a mufti, his name Asad Qasim. Uh, he says that this woman, she is not a Muslim. She don't present Islam because she is married out of her religion. And she should change her name and religion. Islam does not need uh, people who as assume Muslim names and defame Islam and Muslim. So this guy, he's attacking this lady who is supposedly, I don't know, she is an actor. I'm not sure really who is she. I, I, I never, you know, I'm not like... Uh, I'm not Indian, as you know, so I don't know much really about uh, who is this lady. So then another person, he answered him, and he is a Muslim. And here you see, I mean, the two sides of uh, of, uh, of Islam. One, he is saying that this woman, she is not presenting Islam, she is ashamed, etc., etc. And then another, another Muslim, he says to him, a uh, different opinion. Uh, as we see here, uh, Another Muslim, he said, reacting sharply to uh, the bond, the cleric comment to Wasim uh, uh, Riz Rizivi, the chairman of the author, uh, blah, 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 Shia. He will go, he's a Shia. He answered, saying, Islam does not bar her from wearing these things. There's no problem if any follower of Islam want to convert to other religion, they can do so but nobody can be uh, thrown out of Islam. I mean, who is here telling the truth, is the story? Who is saying the truth? The one who is saying that she is not really a Muslim anymore, she is out of Islam, she is not presenting Islam, or the one is saying, oh, no, no, a Muslim, he can wear anything he want, uh, he can follow any religion he want, and he can live anywhere he want, and nobody can throw out uh, can be thrown out of Islam. I mean, who is the one who is saying the truth? Obviously, the first one is saying the truth. The one which here in the title. So why we have those two things? You notice that the first one is a Muslim Sunni. The second one is Shia. Shia, they practice taqiyya day and night. It's like they're dead and break, like, uh, like let's say, sorry, bread and breakfast. So they cannot start their day without practicing taqiyya. So the taqiyya, the Shia here, he is trying to show that the Sunni sect is a bad sect. We are better. No, this is that's not true. Islam does not bar her from wearing these things. By the way, the Shia, they are the one who follow Ali, and Ali is the one who burned people alive. He burned them literally alive, like ISIS. Uh, and the Shia and the Sunni both they believe that if somebody uh, you know, did not practice Islam as the Prophet said or Ali said, uh, according to the Shia, the Sunni only Muhammad, uh, then he should be executed. So both of them, they believe in that. So why this guy is saying, no, she can't do that. Just he want to show the word, taqiyya. 
that we are Shia, we are better than the Sunni. So how we know which one is saying the truth? Later we will come to that. I saw another uh, article here. This article, it says, it's called Middle East Forum. The first one, the newspaper here, it's called what? Uh, Out, Outlook. Outlook. Fully loaded magazine. I can tell this is fully loaded magazine. <laughs> this is a very fully loaded magazine. So Outlook, actually I have the, the links for the the news, all those uh, articles in the in the information. Then we go to this one. This one is called Middle East Form. Here you see an article in the top. It says Islam need reformers, not uh, publicist. Okay, and I know how is that? The one who wrote the article, his name is A.J. Uh, Kashita. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Kashita. It's written October 2019. This is today. I mean, like this is a fresh. And it says here, in the year, uh, uh, in in the year, uh, in the years since 9/11, Islamic reform movement <clears throat> has advanced. Islamic reform. Where's my water? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, the, the comedy is 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 making my voice disappear. Islam Islamic reform movement. Where we can find this movement? What what do you mean? Islamic re reform movement has advanced. Where is that? That's happening somewhere. Uh, the reformers and the bridge builders. There is bridge builders, there is Muslims who they are bridge builders and they are called reformers, according to this person. Who are they? Then they go in the article, you can read off, take your time and read it. And then here we find bingo. We find two pictures. One is called Tariq Fatah, and the other one, his name is Muhammad Tawhidi. Now, Tariq Fatah, this guy, I never heard of them before. So I would do a little search in Prophet Google, peace upon him, to see who is this guy. Tariq Fatah, <clears throat> a Pakistani Canadian journalist. Hmm. So a Pakistani Canadian journalist, and he became a Congress uh, member, I think. Oh, sorry. He is the founder of the Congress, the Muslim uh, Canadian Congress. This is the guy he will reform Islam. And the guy next to him, both of them, and not only that, they are calling uh, uh, in different article, which I will show you later, Imam Tawhidi, they are calling him the Prince of Peace. <laughs> and then they go down and they show you another reformer. Her name is uh, Karen Armstrong. Uh, this woman, obviously, she is suffering from issues and she have her own translation of the Quran, which is totally different from the Quran we have. As you see, uh, Karen Armstrong uh, and Muhammad. So this woman, she have a fantasy about Muhammad. Muhammad was the best man. Muhammad was amazing. Muhammad never kill. Muhammad never say beat your wife. Even she say the Quran when the Quran says hunna, she say the word in Arabic means stay away from them. <laughs> so according to these articles, uh, those are the ones who will fix Islam. But here we need to notice something. As long the article write, writer who is uh, from the left weird people you know who is saying islam need reformers so he agreed he admitted by making this statement that islam is wrong you see he's trying his best this person who wrote this article not to make islam look bad and actually he is trying to defend uh, but the article is so clear Islam need reformers. You see, Islam the way it is, it's not good. Islam the way it is, is ugly. 
Islam the way it is is disgusting Islam need reformers this is what this guy is saying without knowing or maybe he is too much hypocrite to the point he don't dare to say this is what I meant so when you say to me and you quote for me people like Imam Tawhidi well do Imam Tawhidi believe in the Quran yes he believe in the Quran so how Imam Tawhidi can be a reformers I will show you another way of hypocrisy how those people they fool you Imam of peace I was looking for a picture of Imam Tawhidi actually and this uh, news uh, page came in the like I click at the picture I came to this article it's called Ohio the Ohio star and there is a link down in the uh, in the info I Imam of peace Muhammad Tawhidi call out Talib and Omar uh, amid Palestinian rocket fire okay what he said by Molly Prince the one who wrote the article her name is Molly hey how are you Molly nice to meet you an Iranian born Australian Shia Muslim Imam known as Imam of peace called out fresh a man Democratic uh, uh, representative Ilhan Omar and Rashida Talib Saturday for remaining silent amid on slot of Palestinian rocket fire into Israel so this guy he is against shooting at Israel but hold on this guy is a Shia and where he go and where he study all his life they scream death to America death to Israel actually there is pictures of him with one of the biggest sheikhs who hate America he is their student so what happened now eh it is Taqiyya. Let me introduce to you Taqiyya. Taqiyya is a very Islamic practice according to the Quran that a Muslim man, he can say anything to protect his target. So if our target to take over a country or uh, to, uh, to manipulate or to take over a political agenda, we are allowed to, to use anything. Actually, Taqiyya can be used only, not only this, I mean, even with your family or with your wife, with your children. As an example, your wife, she asked you, did you marry another woman additional to me? You are allowed to lie, to say no. This is called taqiyya, protection. And, and the philosophy of it, well, if you say the truth, that will cause a problem. So don't say it. Say no, you are the most, I love you, the, you are the only one in my in my life. Don't tell her I married, and even though Islam allow him to marry up to four. Read carefully with me here. It says that the believer should not take the non-believers as friends. But Mr. Uh, Tawhidi, as you see, he is defending Israel, right? And uh, he is against Hamas terrorism. But Imam Tawhidi will never answer you about what it says in the Quran that a Muslim cannot take non-Muslims as a friends. So Imam Tawhidi, when he took the citizenship in Australia, did he take an oath that he accept the Australian government as a protectors and as a authority over him? Yes. How he can do that? The answer is here. It's not allowed for him actually to do that unless it is security. So we can live in this country and we can spread Islam and we can fold them. Read carefully. So anyone he take non-muslims as a friend he has no honor mercy or protection from Allah unless it be that you guard yourself against them save yourself from them taking it as it were security saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this do you see it who is the one saying that this is Ibn Abbas the big boss of Imam Tawhidi this is the cousin of the Prophet himself and he is a very, very important figure in the Shia sect and the Sunni sect. So you can lie to them saying something, but in your heart, you should be believing in the opposite. Read carefully. The one who taking them, the disbelievers as a friend, and he is sincere, it says here, he who is sincere, who, who doth uh, uh, that seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. Okay. Is Imam Tawhidi a, a, per, a person, a prince of peace, and he take the Australian and uh, whatever Christians as a friends? He say yes. Actually, as you see, he is defending Israel. 
but this is the taqiyya he's trying to present that the shia we are better than the muslim sunni join our most convert to islam here and forget about the rest after you convert to islam the story is different so the one who take them as a friend he has no honor no mercy no protection from allah which means allah order those who follow him to kill those who take christians and jews as a friends if they are sincere unless that you guard yourself against them save yourself from them taking it where security is saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this so in the heart we have hatred enmity and then when we speak to them we say we love you we are friends this is imam tawhidi this is imam tawhidi and if you are a naive person who do not know what islam is about they will convince you they will say hey the guy look he is he is uh, he's defending israel no they, they will never defend israel the quran made it so clear very clear that muslims cannot take non-muslims as a friend and they cannot side with them in any way in any mean and we have tons of verses in the quran tons of chapters all of them they lead us to one thing actually the quran is even make it very extremely clear to the point you cannot even take your own family as a friend if they are not muslims So what those people are talking about? They are just trying to bring confusion to you and make you believe that there is a bad interpretation for Islam and there is a good interpretation for Islam. The challenge is here. Who is the one who gave good interpretation for Islam? Are those names are qualified really to give interpretation for Islam or who are they? No one. In order to reform Islam, we have to change the Quran and we have to change the books of Hadith. Is uh, Imam Tawhidi, this kid, I call him a kid, he's just a kid. Can he take this verse out of the Quran? No. Can he take 923 out of the Quran? No. Can he take uh, 514 from the Quran? No. Can he take 929 where it says, kill the Christians and the Jews, slaughter them or force them to pay jizya? No. So what reform? What we are talking about? Who who is the one is capable of doing such a miracle? When I say I want to reform Christianity, that's mean I'm going to to bring you different Jesus. As simple as that. Nobody can. What reform? What? You cannot reform anything. I mean. We don't judge Islam by me or Imam Tawhidi. We judge Islam by Muhammad. He is the founder of Islam. And Muhammad, he made it clear. He killed those who don't believe in him and he slaughtered them. And he, he made it clear too that I have a duty to kill all mankind, not only those who they are around me, until either they convert to Islam or I will kill them all. And all are, those are referenced written by Muslims through centuries and they are approved by them and every Muslims every single Muslim including Tawhidi he believe in them Tawhidi don't believe in the book of Al-Bukhari but they have different books which is Shia books and he believe in it it's the same equal to Al-Bukhari equal to Sahih Muslim and it says it clearly kill them wherever you find them so what this guy is talking about Imam Tawhidi when he pray five times a day do you know what he pray he asked Allah every day five times don't make us the same as the jews or the christians al-fatiha is how imam tawhidi he started his day every day every day in the morning this guy before he say good morning to his wife he start cursing the christians and cursing the jews this is his prayer so the one who reform the one who would call him the reformer he is a person who call us and he curse us and he say allah don't make us the same as the christians the lost christians and the cursed jews five time a day
ask Imam Tawhidi, what is the prayer he start his day with? He will say this one. Don't make us like the Christians. Don't make us like the Jews. Guide us to the straight way, the way of those whom you bestowed your grace, not the way of those who earned your anger. This is a translation, by the way. Okay, who are they? Those who earned your anger, the Jews. Nor those who went astray. Who are they? The Christians. Ask Imam Tawhidi. Who are they? The one who they earned their anger from the Islamic Shia books, not from the Sunni. See how they lie to you? This guy, he prayed five times to his God, saying to his God, please Allah, don't make us the same as the Christians or the Jews. And then they want to convince us that Islam need reformers. How you can, how you can reform a religion? What, what reform mean? Are you going to take all the bad, ugly, disgusting verses from the Quran, which mean you have to delete maybe 97% of it? When you see a woman like this woman, Armstrong,
blah 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 you know actually now in iraq the we iraq we have uh, we celebrate the day of fatima which is the same day of uh, the, the birth of mary and like blah 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 blah. like when he start you think this guy is coming from the sky he's an angel you know he's an angel right after i start getting him busted at the end the guy he says to me we are going to cleanse from the earth from people like you we are going to cleanse the people from the from, from the, the, the uh, uh, uh palestine from the zionist he, he said it clearly in tv he is going to to which mean he claimed that he want to kill all the jews in israel but in the beginning he was we are friends and etc and we know but we both believe in one god and all the all of this disappear right after i start giving him the truth and getting him busted one by one about everything he said and you should see how his head was going or like a like a like a like this guy he was like uh uh suffering the liar he was saying we are we, we shia we defend abu Bakr. And we defend Aisha. <laughs> Look how much they lie. The Shia number one enemy for them is Abu Bakr and Aisha. <laughs> but in his debate with me, he says, We Shia, we defend Abu Bakr. <laughs> we defend. <laughs> All right. Marathon Okra, Azrael, Mushahadin, Natazar, and Havi Hill. Anyway, that's, you know. Father Sheikh, Enta was on. He was really screaming all over. Anyway, so this sheikh, when he start talking, he is the same as Tawhidi. When he make a public speech, Christians and Muslims, we are friends, we love each other. You know, the two minutes after I start getting him busted, he want to destroy me, he want to kill me, uh, he want to uh, cleanse the earth from people like me. I'm a Zionist. And he will cleanse the whole earth from the Zionist in Israel, you know. So, what happened? What happened to the one we are friends and we love each other? And so the the beginning was taqiya. The end was the truth. And the reason they speak uh, like more free because we are speaking Arabic. This guy been interviewed five times in Fox News, and five times they could not get him busted. He sponsored Hezbollah, he spo you know, he supported them. He went in a strike in the street to support Hezbollah. But in his debate with me, the debate is there, you can go, you can get it, you know. The whole debate is like an hour and uh, an hour and 26 minutes, I think. But literally, I made him shish kebab. If you read the, if you read the comments, uh, if you read, uh, if you go to the official uh, uh, website of ABNB, sorry, A A and B, uh, like when uh, uh, when you see the comment of Muslims, the Muslim they say uh, this guy he is paid by Christian prince. Uh, he there is no way that a Muslim he would not be able to answer like this. Uh, 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 oh, you chose him because he's a Shia. You know he don't know anything about Islam. Okay. Yeah, I paid him. Anyone I, deb I debate, I paid him. He's get he got paid by me. All right. <clears throat> anyway, uh, do we have any Muslim want to say something? Why we have eight hundred eighty four watching, but only we have four hundred ninety six like. Is that really only we deserve only 497 like? <clears throat> okay. Do we have any Muslim would like to say anything to us, maybe to correct us? Anyone? You see, I'm here. Like I open, I open my uh, uh, Skype. We take live calls, and we make a challenge. Prove us wrong. Who can prove us wrong? Islam is a religion cannot be reformed. And yes, I agree. Islam needs reform. 
because obviously it's ugly. This is why they made this article saying Islam need reform because it's ugly. The reason you said Islam need reform because you agreed, you admit it, even though you are from the left minded people who don't want to attack Islam. By saying that, you admitted that Islam is a problem. Islam is not right. Islam need reform. Today, the president of France, Macaroni, I call him Macaroni because he's silly and stupid like the rest. He says, oh, we need to be very careful about uh, watching the, the society, watching the terrorist. This is what you need? Is that really what you need? No, what you need, my friend, is to open a TV station attacking and exposing Islam. If you show the Muslim that there's no versions waiting for them, nobody will join ISIS. They will go to Disneyland because Disneyland is more realistic. What you need to do is to show Muslims that Islam is false. Otherwise, if you arrest one terrorist, tomorrow there will be, will be 10. You arrest 10, tomorrow there will be 100. Because the idea is there and they believe in it. You have to fight the belief, which is the reasoning. Those people, they think they want to fight terrorism, but they, want, they don't want to fight the reason for it. The reason is Islam. A police officer, he was a policeman for all his life, never hurt a per person, converted to Islam. And then he attacked people and he started killing them. This is just last week. Why he was not killing people in the last uh, 40 years of his life? Why he converted to Islam last year and today he want to kill people shouting Allahu Akbar, attacking them? So the problem is Islam, my friend. It's not, it's not the terrorist himself. The terrorist is a victim himself. The terrorist is a victim. He's a believer in an idea that if he killed those who don't believe in Islam, as Allah told him, he will go to heaven. All the Western countries, because they are stupid, they are fighting terrorism. Not Islam. When the problem is Islam, when you destroy the idea, you destroy terrorism. Otherwise, you are wasting your money and your resource. It's like, you know, what, what they are doing in the West, they are, they, they, they are like somebody want to kill somebody infected with a virus. But they don't want to fight the virus. You know what I mean? But the one is infected, he's a victim himself. What about we fight the virus? How this person became what he is? Why somebody is a Hindu? He don't go and say, a Hindu Akbar, whatever Akbar, and I want to kill you. Why somebody is a Buddha? Don't do that. Why somebody is a Christian? Don't do that. Why somebody is a Jew? So we have a problem. The problem, obviously, all of those, they share one thing. Their belief is pushing them to kill and to attack. And that is Islam. So instead of fighting the cult of Islam, they are making Islam look like I said Disneyland. And Islam is a good religion. They don't want to say the truth. Nobody want to say the truth, that the truth is ugly. Nobody dare to say it. And look here, that we have a Muslim saying, a flat earth, uh, a flat earth Bible. <laughs> the Muslim is not worried about what we are talking about. He's talking about a flat earth Bible. He is not worried about his religion killing and tons of thousands of Muslims dying every day. He is really worried about a flat, flat earth Bible. By the way, the Bible says the earth is round, you idiot. Like a globe, actually not round. I can show you from the Quran that it is the Quran who says the earth is a flat. This is why you Muslims, you have to pray in the direction of, the, of Mecca. Because you think and you believe that the earth is a flat. And right now, I can, you can call me right now. You show me the verses in the Bible saying the Bible saying the, uh, the, the earth is a flat and I will show you the verses which you cannot because you see when you show me something you have to read the Christian interpretation for it. I will do the same. When I show you something I will read the Muslim interpretation for it. 
and I will show you unlimited numbers of a flat earth in the Quran. But because you are ashamed of your religion, so you are trying to divert our topic from the shame of Islam and Muhammad to make it about a flat earth. If earth is a flat or not a flat, that will not change. That every day today, people are being slaughtered in the name of Allah. As we speak now, Erdogan, the great Muslim, is going to attack the north of Syria, threaten the life of millions of Kurdish. And the potato uh, uh, Trump, he decided to open the door for him. That is the truth. This is what you are good about. Attacking your neighbors, slaughtering your neighbor, taking them as sex slaves. Attacking Cyprus, taking half of Cyprus. Stop calling it a Trump potato. He's a potato. He's a big potato. He's six foot tall potato. He is a flat earth Christian. That means he is dumb. I don't want him here. Flat earth Christian. <laughs> no, he's a Muslim, my friend. They use different names just to fool you. Taqiyya, taqiyya, learn. A Muslim, he will change his name and he will claim that he is a Christian so he can say, okay, see, Christian, believe in this. Trump is a person who treat the world as a business. He thinks the whole earth is a business, is a company. He don't have really any level of respect for what something is called ethic. He is the same as Democrat. He is Democrat, actually. The difference between him and the Democrat that this guy you don't understand what he want in the morning he says something afternoon he's, a, he's like Muhammad in the morning he says drink wine afternoon he says it's forbidden so in the morning he said to the Kurdish we are your friends we will not let you go afternoon he make a phone call he says okay we are leaving that's the truth I voted for him and next election I have to vote for him because if we don't vote for him we will get another donkey bigger bigger than him in america my friend we don't we don't select we don't elect president we elect donkeys but there's sizes there's big donkeys small donkeys mule donkeys one of them he will hit you in your balls and the other one will hit you on your ass choose one but all of them are donkeys all of them with no exception So we have to elect between two donkeys. One will hurt, will hit you in your in, in your balls, and the other one will hit you in your ass. Which one? Eh, maybe the ass is. <laughs> we have a cushion there. <laughs> and look at those poor Kurdish. They fought with America side by side for the last eight years. Overnight, he sold them out. Overnight. You know, no dignity, business. You know what he talk about? We are spending money. <laughs> this is so you so why you okay so you use them for eight years and now you dump them it's like Muhammad marrying a woman when she get older you know she became slower he don't want to have sex with her and he he want to divorce her very shameful you see uh, we we should not be taken aside you know what I mean we as a Christian, we should not take a side. I don't support Trump when he's stupid. I support him when he's right. And this guy, 90% 90, 90 of the time, the only thing he's right about maybe is econ economy. The rest is stupid. His policy is stupid. His, his politics is stupid. His sanctions are stupid. His war is stupid. His peace is stupid. Everything he do is absolutely stupid like Obama. But if you ask me, are you going to vote for him next year? I say yes. What I can do? Voting for a stupid better than voting for a crazy person. That's the whole deal. Right?
Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim want to say something? Donkey cannot speak English. Well, I don't know. Muhammad, he he spoke to his donkey in Arabic, and he asked him if he liked females. You can find that in Ibn Kathir. And his donkey, his name is Yafur. Any Muslim here would like to say anything? No, all politics, you know, when I call donkey, this is on my scale, all politics are the devil. They, they use you and they fool you. You see, when they go to election, what they do? As an example, Obama, before the election with Hillary Clinton, he signed the biggest deal as an aide to Israel in history of USA, the biggest ever. Suddenly, Obama became in love with the Jews in Israel. Why? Because he, he wanted their support to Hillary. They fool you. They, they, you know, they don't care really for, they, they care how they can win election. And Trump today, all what he's worried about, how to win the election. If he would have drawn the army from Syria, he would be the one who says, I am the one who took the army from Syria. Always in, 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 the, in those countries, in the Western countries, the one who sent the army is the bad guy. The one who would draw the army is the good guy. This is the mentality. So he want to be the hero who, is going to withdraw it doesn't matter what the price is it's just for the sake of election he don't care really for what's what's going to happen next and the one who's attacking him for withdrawing is just for the sake of election too it doesn't matter really if they are in office they will do the same all of them they are a bunch of liars obama he sent hundreds of millions of dollars to the terrorists in syria more than 600 million dollars nobody questioned him why and how And Trump will not will not be better. He's the same, you know. But you know, this will give a message to the whole world that you cannot trust, um, you know, American government. You cannot because American, you know, American government. The system here is a business system. It's not about what is right, what's wrong. It's a business. You see now, if a Trump he made the economy super, 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 super like amazing already. Actually, he is successful in that still he is bad for the left so it's not what he do it is who he is they are, it's a it's a it's a it's a country run by two hypocrite parties it doesn't matter what the other side of the party does he's bad he's ugly he's evil so each one of them he tried to make the other one evil as much as he can and each one of them he claimed that the other part or the other party is the devil himself you have no dignity, but the truth is both of them are the devil. They are two faces for one coin. All what they do, they exchange position. But nobody is being truthful. Yeah, the difference between Obama and, and Trump, Obama, he knew how to say words. He is very careful. This guy is like a big kid. Whatever in his pocket, it is it is in his uh, in his hand. It's like you know you wanna you wanna know what your neighbors did yesterday. Go to ask ask their kid. Hey, what your mom cooked yesterday? He will tell you right away. This is Trump. He go in the phone. He speak everything in the phone. Nobody do that. He knew that people are spying at him. But he's he's a big kid. He's just a big kid. None of those deserve to be a president. None of those is, is, is wise enough to be a president. This guy, he is he's a businessman. He look at the world as a business. China for him is a is a is a is a business pocket. Same as Syria, same as Iraq, same money. You know, he speaks to Europe, he says, How much money you would pay us? The prince of Saudi Arabia come. I mean, in front of him, the guy he says he is going to spend a lot of money here. Hmm? He will leave us all his money here. I mean, how in the world you say that? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a president he is he's just a kid he is just six foot 
tall kid. He say things nobody should say. And actually, that's why he won the election. Because people, they are sick of, of uh, people being fake. Nobody wants to say, no, nobody speak as things as it is. This guy speak things as it is. All what you want from the, the the crown prince is his money. So the crown prince, he says, come. So that, okay, how, so he will he will spend a lot of money here. Huh? Uh, how much money you will get? Four hundred billion dollars. He will he will give us. Yeah, he's making the guy even look bad in front of his people because his people are listening. Their, our crown prince is taking with him four hundred billion dollars to give them to USA. Trump, he said that. So <clears throat> we don't support. Uh, we don't support a side. We support what is right, and we go against what is wrong. So when Trump he do wrong, the same as Muhammad. You see, if Muhammad was a good person, I'm not going to go against him. I mean, let us say he's a false prophet. At least you know, let us say he was a false prophet, but he don't teach violence and killing. I would say, okay, he's just false prophet, liar. But Muhammad is a very ugly person, extremely ugly. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Yeah, I vote for Trump and I, will, and I will vote again. I mean, what? If we don't vote for Trump, who we will get? Pelosi? Or the women who want to make us uh, uh, ride donkeys? Or the, or the women who said we should eat our kids? Or the women who said we should kill all the cows because they are making uh, a carbon? I mean, they are a bunch of stupid, those people. So we don't have other choice. We will vote for who? <laughs> or Bernie Sanders? <laughs> I mean, those people are high. They are too much in hashish. They are literally in hashish. Those people, they are coming from Disneyland of hashish. So Trump, maybe he is a donkey for me, but those guys are the manufacturer of donkeys. Actually, even their sign of their party is donkey. You believe it or not? He's not a communist. He's a stupid. He's a billionaire. Millionaire. Communist. Have you ever? He's a communist, but he has millions of dollars in his pocket. I mean, do you see how much communist he is? All of them, they lecture you about poor, but all of them, they are millionaires, if not billionaires. <clears throat> like, I, I find it funny when uh, Trump, he speak about the poor. I mean, look who's talking. He feel for us. Yeah. All of them, they feel for you. But those are speeches just for propaganda. We knew it. We are not stupid. Now, do we have any Muslim want to say anything? <clears throat> Actually, I'm going, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, make a video about China. And I will publish it maybe in this page or in the other uh, channel. Uh, because, you know, I went to China and I was expecting, first time I went there, I was expecting a communist China, uh, country. But there's no communist in China. The only communist is the poor ones who they are living in the province. There's billionaires. I mean, not, not only billionaires. I mean, there's trillionaires in China. You will see the most expensive cars everywhere. So in China, either there's people are eating rat for a, for a dinner, and it's like like they're they're turkey. Literally rat. I'm not exaggerating. Literally they eat rats. This is how poor they are. Or there's people they are changing the car when they change their shoes. This is a China. So the outside is a communist. Communists are are you know it's it's a big fat lie. There's no communist. It's a big fat lie. It's just a system to control others, a group of people. They are the gang, the mafia. They are they will control the government and they will become billionaire because of the government. And then the, the title is all the people are equal. Go in the street and see how equal they are. You will see that it's not true. Communist is the same as Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, kill them and take their money and we spread it on us. But when, when the truth happened, he says the fifth to me and the fifth to Allah and the best of the booty to me.
the fifth to you why Muhammad because I'm the prophet hmm he's the prophet he will take the best of the booty and he will add after that he says and that the fifth will go to to Allah and his messenger and then uh, we give the charity for the poor hmm. yeah Muhammad is a charity man very much charity man now do we have any muslim anyone any muslim want to prove us wrong <clears throat> No one? And you remember when Muhammad, he stole some clothing. I mean, even a prophet, he stole clothing. The Muslim accused him that he stole an underwear. And now Trump, he's accusing Joe Biden that he is a, his son, he stole many underwear with his son. So do we have any Muslim or no? <clears throat> All right, look like we don't have Muslims for today. Um, it's a dry weather today, maybe. Uh, today is October 8, 2019. And now it's 4.34. And look like we are very dry today. I don't know. What is today? Why? October 8, what October 8? Uh, maybe today is Muta'ad day? Is it, is it Muta'ad day? Mutaday usually is a Thursday. I mean, still early for Mutaday. Anyone? I remember when I was uh, in school, going to my university, we went with a driver. He's a Muslim driver, according to Abu Muhammad. Uh, he, he said uh, he's yawning so I said uh, so you, you sound like you are tired he said yesterday it was the homework day I look at him this guy is like 60 something what homework you know I am a student I do homework you know in Arabic we say wadifa you know wadifa like uh, you know like if you have a homework for school so I look at him I said what homework you go to school he said no 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 yesterday it was Thursday this is the day we Muslims, he knew I'm a Christian. We Muslims, we do the, our homework once a week. I did not, I uh, said, we Muslim do. I said, what do you mean? He said, that, come on, my wife, you know, we had boom, boom, you know? <laughs> they do their homework once a week. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was thinking this guy, he go to school now and yesterday. What he did exactly. Oh boy. EF Dawa. Who what is EF Dawa? I don't contact anyone. The one wanna debate me, I'm here. What about you contact them, whoever those guys, and let them call me? Do I have a wife? No, I don't have a wife. Thank God. Anyone? <clears throat> any other any uh any muslim 
don't ask me questions it's silly questions uh, do you have wife or do you have children no i don't have wives i don't have but not but don't ask me those questions again i mean what what that will make a difference for you if i have a wife or children or not is that going to pay for your bill are you going to have better electricity what this have to do with our topic any abdul <clears throat> Yeah, the question is, do you have a brain? That's a good question. Are you sure you have one? Touch it. <laughs> uh, how many here are from Europe right now? How many European are listening at this time? For those who they are from Germany, by the way, my book in Germ the, the Sex and Allah in German, already published and it's in Amazon Germany. In case you like to have your copy, and we have <clears throat> we have our Dutch book, Sex and Allah in Dutch. All right, we have many people from Europe. That's good. All right, all right, that's good. That's good. Wonderful. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Yeah, if you go to uh, uh, Amazon, that uh, Germany, um, you will find sex and Allah in German language is already there. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. So, any Abdul? Muhammad in the Bible? Yeah, actually, Muhammad is in the Bible. <laughs> Let us first find Muhammad in the Quran, then we can go and find him in the Bible. <laughs> Where is Muhammad in the Quran? You know, the funny is, there was a sheikh, his name is Abdullah Green. He was saying, the Bible written by John. John who? Paul, Paul who? Mark, Mark who? Okay, Muslims, I will shave my 100 foot beard if you can show me from the Quran who is Muhammad. Muhammad who? In the Quran, there is a guy, his name is Saleh. Saleh who? Ibrahim who? Oh, I forgot in the Quran it says Abraham is the son of a guy, his name is Azar. <laughs> Azar, who Abraham, his father became Azar. <clears throat> hmm? I don't know what's wrong with my I think I drank too much coffee. Azar, so it's really funny when the Muslim they ask questions and they make a challenge. Okay, I challenge you right now to call me and I will tell you, John, who. And Mark who? And Luke who? Now, how you can tell me from your book, Abraham who? Israel who? Muhammad who? We have the Quran in front of us. As you see here, it says, Abraham, he said to his father, Azar. <laughs> Abraham, he had a father. His name is Azar. What happened? His father changed his name. Huh? <clears throat> uh, John, we have somebody already working in that. Don't worry about it. There's a there's a good uh, good brother. He is working in translation in Indonesian. Already, we have our my book Quran and Science published in Indonesian language, and we share the link for free with everybody. So now the other the person is working. the The brother is working in the second book, uh, Deception of Allah, and I hope soon will be out. Any Muslim can tell us? Who is Azar? We don't know. The only one knows is Christian Prince. Azar is not a word, is not a name. Azar is a word mean foolish or a fool or stupid. So the Muslims, because they are and Muhammad, because he is a, he's a thief. He was copying from the book of Waraq ibn Nufal that Abraham, he said to his father, foolish, are you going to worship idols? 
the foolish Muhammad he thought that the word Azar this is the name of the father of Abraham do you see how foolish Muhammad is because he's a thief he does not know what the word mean so he thought okay he said to his father Azar I said ah Azar is his name no it's not it's not his name you idiot it's a word mean foolish So the smart Muhammad, he made the word foolish, the name of the father of Abraham. Do you see how smart he is? If you replace the word Azar with fool or foolish, it makes sense, right? It makes sense because he's saying to his father, are you going to worship idols as gods? Otherwise, why somebody want to say, Abraham, he said to his father, Azar. You just said his father. There's no need to say a name. You see, we say a name. Like, imagine we say, uh, Muhammad, he said to his father, Abdullah, but everybody knows his father. Why do you want to say his father? You, either you say, he said to Azar, or you say to his father. That's it. By saying his father, there's no name to come after that. Like, do Muhammad have two fathers? <laughs> so we have to mention the name so we will not be confused. You know what I mean? We say the name of the person if there is many of them, but the guy he have one father. So what do you mean he uh, he said to his father Azar? But because Muhammad you don't speak the, the, the language, he is copying it from the book of Waraqam Nufal. And in the book of Nufal it says he said to his father Azar. Waraqa he knew what the word Azar means. Muhammad you don't know. And now all Muslims think that Azar is a word, is the name of the father of Abraham. Now, if we go back, who is a Muslim I tell us what, uh, who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Anyone can tell us who is Muhammad? How we can even get a, a, a proof that Muhammad is exist? Because you see, Muhammad is not his name. Or if we go in the Quran, even the Quran says so. The Quran speak about a person sometime his name is Muhammad sometime his name is Mustafa sometime his name is Ahmed but they are not the same and when Jesus son of Mary said oh children of Israel Lou I'm a messenger of Allah into you confirming that which revealed before me in the Torah and bringing the good tidings of a, a, a messenger who comes after me but his name the praised one uh, false translation by the way it doesn't say the praised one it says Ahmed Ismuhu Ahmed you don't translate a name unless it's not a name correct guys so it's a false translation if this is not if this is a name it is not false translation if this is not a name and that's exactly what who is Muhammad is Muhammad never have a name this is a title so who is your prophet they don't know his name until now they do not know his name if his name is Ahmad that's mean his name is Ahmad not Muhammad there's different this is this two, the writing different the pronunciation is different everything is different so which one is his name the fact is both of them are very close close in, in the in the meaning so Ahmad or Muhammad it doesn't make the, the different because it's the same meaning so it is a it is a title that is not the name of your prophet so who's your prophet your prophet is a man, his name is Qatham. Azar is a girl name. Now you are talking about something, the, the, the pronunciation is different. This is Azar, not Azar. Any Muslim? <clears throat> I still did not find found your video about the word Abraham in Quran. I don't know what do you mean.
Abraham in the Quran sometime come as Abraham sometime come as Ibrahim have you ever heard of a God you do not know how to call the name why Why Allah don't know? You don't know. Muhammad, when he is, uh, he learned that his his correct name is Abraham. He starts saying Abraham. But always he say Ibrahim. He correct himself. Who was Isa in the Quran? We never, nobody heard. Uh, nobody heard about someone. His name is Isa before. <clears throat> Any Muslim? just to show you something here okay if I search in the Quran which they have in their website if I search the word Abraham I can't find it they change it but in the real Quran the word Abraham is there <coughs> Actually, it should appear in the Quran as you see it in the screen in more than 33 places. They change it all. They make it Ibrahim. So it's Ibrahim or it's Abraham? Do we have any Muslim would like to say? No Muslim. Are the Arab possessed by the devil? Why? Why you think so? What does this have to do with being Arab? There's people they are possessed by many things. The devil can appear to us or in our life in many ways. People are obsessed by money, power, not only Arab or Muslims. You know, look around you. You know, we have to be honest here. Look around you. Don't you see how the world is? Look at the TV. Open the TV. What you hear on TV, sick news. So it's not only them they have a problem. We here we are talking about a topic, it's called Islam. But we are not saying we are better than others and the rest are garbage. This is not the story. The same as the Arab, they have many problems. In your society, you have many problems. This is not our, we are not here debating about who is better as an ethnic. That is not accurate. People are people everywhere. In every society, there is good and there is bad. The Arab, they have many good things and they have many bad things. Same as in your society, whatever it is. <clears throat> the Muslim, they say that Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. Well, they can say whatever they want. But in order for Muhammad to be mentioned in the Bible, uh, you know, you can search. I have a video. It's called Muhammad in the Bible. Shocking. Just I made it a few days ago. I mean, maybe two weeks ago. Watch it and love. For Muhammad to be mentioned in the Bible as a prophet, he have to be a prophet first. Have you ever heard of somebody? He's mentioned that he's going to be a prophet, but he's not a prophet. How Muhammad can be a prophet and he says that the sun set in the murky water. What what can is that a scientific prophecy? Because we before that we never learn where the sun set. He is the first one to tell us. How Muhammad is a prophet, but he thinks that the sperm of the man became a congealed dead blood. 
how Muhammad is a prophet but he claim a prophecy that if women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a, a boy so regardless if you can find the name of Muhammad in the Bible or not which is not true but if you want to find the word praised one well oh, the Bible is full of it <laughs> you see the Arabic and Hebrew they share all the same roots most of the Arabic and most of the Hebrew is coming from the Aramaic so the Muslims because they are so desperate as an example the that was saying that the song of songs there's a thousand videos of the that saying the song of song is shame the song of song is a book of porn how many of you so did that saying that suddenly somebody told the that that the name of Muhammad in the song of song suddenly the song of songs became the book of God Muhammad the madam them like what happened yesterday the song of song was a porn yesterday the guy was saying to the Christians do you dare to read the song of songs for your children yesterday a day after the song of songs is the book of holiness hypocrisy stupidity right <clears throat> Yesterday the song of song was a shame. Today the song of songs is where the prophet name is mentioned. And by the way, uh, your prophet is in the song of song. Why? There's a grass grow in his in his chest, and he have big breast or what? I don't know. What do you mean? The song of song is about Jerusalem. It's not about a man. It's about the city. Have you ever heard of a man or a woman have a grass in their chest? But Muhammad, that's it. He found Muhammadim. So obviously the song of song is about Muhammad. When you are bankrupt, you are looking for anything to find a solution. How we can prove Muhammad a prophet? We cannot, we could not prove to them that Muhammad is a prophet from the Quran. He is bankrupt. So let us try to find Muhammad in their Bible. How you keep saying to people that your Bible is corrupt, and then you say to them, Muhammad in the Bible. Anyone? Is it corrupt or it's not? The effective approach to Muslims, that's something personal because every one of us is different. How we approach Muslims. For me, you know, I, you know, I do it the way I do it. You know how I do it. But you are different. It's about how much knowledge you have, how much confident of your knowledge you have. Uh, you see, don't approach anyone if you don't have knowledge, because that will make you look like a fool or even will be against you. It's like somebody, he want to talk, he want to school somebody, he have a PhD in mathematics. But then the second he, he challenged him, after two seconds, the other person, he will make fool of you. So in order to challenge somebody about anything, you have to have knowledge, and that knowledge has to be strong and solid. So never approach unless you have knowledge first. So let us say, before you approach others about anything, approach yourself. Educate yourself, prepare yourself, study yourself. What you want to talk about, otherwise you will look like a fool. Can you call me for sure, Asim? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, you can call me. If you are not, no. Anyone is a Muslim would like to call me, give me your, your ID in Skype and I will call you. Uh, Abu Asmar, he says, عليك من الله ما تستحق سيرين الله في عجائب قدرته يا مشرك Look at this guy saying, he is cursing me saying, Allah will show us his, his miracle. Your God could not even save Muhammad. Muhammad, he died by poison. And Muhammad was screaming. And Muhammad, he died from the pain of the poison. Where is Allah? What is the miracle of Allah? مات رسولك بالسمة يا هذا 
مات بسم الفئران الذي سرقته عائشة من الجيران فهل وضعت هذا في الميزان أم أنك من دول البلقان قد بدلت الحطب بالأسنان هل تسمع Where is your prophet? You are cursing me. Allah will do something to me. Here we go. You're a prophet. He died by poison and he was praying to Allah every day. Allah, Allah, and here Allah did nothing. The funny that Allah, he saved Jesus, but Allah will not save Muhammad. Who is the guy who speaks Arabic? Are you going to answer? Are you searching Google? <clears throat> Which one is the true goat, sheep, or a bird who ate? Have you ever heard of a bird eat a book? I mean, I got really, I mean, questions. Have you, a bird ate the book? What, since when birds eat books? I mean, no, the, the hadith says dajin. Dajin. Dajin in Arabic is for any pet live inside the house. So, but usually those who eat papers is goats. And in, in uh, uh, as I know, like the most popular animal in Saudi Arabia or in the desert, either camel or goats. Why? Because they can survive the heat and uh, the, uh, the tough life. Uh, sheep, they die easy. They get infected with the heat easy. Uh, they need, uh, uh, like, uh, they cannot survive that easy. But goats, they are, uh, they are a lot more hard animals. You know, this is why you see goats living in the mountains. The sheep, they cannot really survive by their own. Goat can. So mostly it's a goat. Goat, they eat plastic. They eat anything. I just put anything in front of them and, the, you know, they would eat it. They would chew it right away. So most likely it's a goat, but what it is exactly, maybe it is not, maybe it's a camel, but you know, a camel go inside the room, that is impossible. The camel is so big. So what is left? A goat. Yeah, goat are the goat, they eat anything. Actually, you know, Isma ya zandiq, arina muhawara ala al-bathin mubashar, ya abu asmar. الزنديق هو محمد وبالدليل والبرهان فقد وجدناه مع صفوان متآمرا على أم النسوان عائشة وهي كانت معه فلتانة ألم يثبت بالدليل أن رسولك ضبط عائشة متلبس مع صفوان ثم غطى عليها أما الحديث المباشر لو كنت رجال اتصل يلا تعال اتصل يا أبو شخة اتصل A Muslim is challenging me I mean says oh, we challenge you okay call me <تصفيق> على البث المباشر مع أحد علماء المسلمين وهل لديكم علماء ليس لديكم علماء لديكم بلهاء علماءكم يعتقدون أن الأرض مسطحة وأن مناخيركم مفلطحة أين هم علماءكم والشمس تغرب في عين حمية علماء إذا كان رسولكم جاهل لا يقرأ ولا يكتب فأين هم علماءكم؟ وكيف يكون العالم عالما وهو يؤمن برسول جاهل؟ He saying to me, why you don't debate the scholars? I said, how they can be scholars or science scholars? You know, if you Muslims, you are following a prophet who do not know how to read, how to write. 
if your boss is an ignorant the one you follow you the one you learn from he is ignorant he think that the women if she have orgasm the baby will be a girl if this is your boss so who is the scholar here what do you mean scholars All right <clears throat> Tani Abdul. Any Muslim? Look how many times we said any Muslim, any Muslim. I feel like somebody sometimes like somebody in the front of a church begging for money. Like any Muslim, any Muslim, like come on. What is that? So when a Muslim, going back to the topic, when a Muslim says that we have a prophet, well, a prophet, he will not say such a stupid thing, that the sun set in the murky water, for this is a false prophecy. So to be a prophet, you should be a decent prophet. Someone prophesy, otherwise I can prophesy too. I can prophesy too. Anyone can prophesy, but people will laugh at me and they will say you are a liar. Right? <clears throat> Muhammad, he told his followers, do you know where the sun set? They said to him, we do not know where the sun set. Allah and his prophet know better. He said that Allah taught him that the sun set every day under the throne of Allah. And where is the throne of Allah? Is above the water. Muhammad he forbid the Muslims from praying during the sun rising. Why? Because he said that the sun rise from between the two horns of Shaitan. Prophet, he's a prophet. He knew. I mean, he is the only one knew where the sun rise from, from between the two horns of Shaitan. Uh, learn the Quran. I mean, why he don't call me? Tell this guy learn Quran, a Quranic Arabic. Why you don't call me? Call me, baby. So we can <laughs> respond. <laughs> what he responded? Let me show you. Tell your friend. Okay, the Muslims how they respond to what their prophet says. Either they will say this is daif. We know the story of daif, right? Daif. Anything they don't like is daif, brother. Anything they don't like is daif. Or he will say, I he have a wrong understanding. No. I will not give you a wrong understanding. I will give you understanding of the prophet. Can he say the prophet have a wrong understanding? <clears throat> so those responses are just made for those who do not understand. Those who have no knowledge. Here we go. This is the prophet of Allah explaining the chapter 86, the, the chapter about the, the 18, about the sun set in murky water. I was sitting behind Allah messenger who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting he asked do you know where it is set I replied Allah and his apostle knows best he said it's set in a spring of warm water so what what the what the response of the Muslim says did he say that his prophet was wrong what is the response you tell me this is Muhammad saying that not me and is, is he going to say this is a daif it's not daif here we go is that daif no, it's not. Who said that? Muhammad. So what we will do now? Hmm? So in order to cover up the madness and the stupidity in the Quran, they start fabricating stories. Oh, there's many stories which is not true. The Quran was not saying that the sun set in murky. No, it says that. The sun set in a spring. They say to you, brother, he here, he thought the sun sitting in a, in the ocean. But it's not Allah who's saying that. No, the one is talking here is Allah. And he is not saying he thought. He said he found it. And look what he said. Allah saying, until the guy he took away. And he followed that way. Until when he reached the sitting of the sun. Who is the one saying that? Allah and actually he did not say the sitting of the Sun until the, he reached the sitting place of the Sun and he found it you see he found you know when you say he found it is not he thought 
he is reporting a find and then he says and near it after he found it sitting in spring and not it's not in the ocean as they claim and they lie as you see even the Quran says it's spring why it is a spring because there's legions people they could not explain how some places there is boiling water a spring of water boiling usually it's muddy volcano water so what they believe that obviously because the Sun jump in the spring at night that is making the spring boiling there this is where the Sun goes and then it says and near it near what near the sitting place of the Sun which is a murky water boiling he found people. So how they can say the guy he thought? It's very clear in front of you. And who confirmed the interpretation? Muhammad. Here we go. So let us say Christian Prince, he is trying to deceive you in the meaning. Muhammad here is saying clearly. This is what he meant. And he did not say he, he it's it, it set in an ocean. It set in a spring of boiling water, Hamia not warm water boiling any muslim <clears throat> do we have any muslim want to say something <clears throat> no Is somebody saying about the law of the Old Testament about the, the daughter of the priest? Uh, uh, okay, my friend, as long you are against the law of the Jews, why you Muslims uh, take the same? You're a prophet, you're a prophet. He burned people alive and he ordered to burn people alive. And Ali, he burned people alive. And he took everything from the Jews, he put it there, stoning to death, burning people. So as long you're against that, how come you are believing in Muhammad? How come you don't ask the same question for your prophet? I will tell you why, because you are a hypocrite. Ninety percent of the capital move, capital punishment of Islam is coming from the Jews. You have nothing, you don't have religion. Even your fasting coming from the Jews. You don't believe in the Old Testament? No, you believe in the Old Testament. Here we go. Let me show you. You're a prophet. He took the Torah and he swear by it says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So you are saying to me, you don't believe, but Muhammad, he believes. So Muhammad is a kafir. Thank you. Do you see it? Muhammad, he asked the Jews to bring the Torah. And he put the Torah in the cushion and then he swears saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Well, uh, I will go with you guys. Look at this Muslim, how he is exposing his prophet. He is saying the Torah is not preserved. So how Muhammad, he swear by something not preserved. He must be a false prophet because if it's not preserved, and then you say, I believe in thee, which is not preserved. That's mean Muhammad is a scam. Correct, guys? As long you are saying that the Torah is not preserved according to you, then we find that your prophet taken an oath in any preserved book, saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So who is the scam? As an example, if you say to Christian Prince, are you going to swear by the Quran? I will say over my dead body. This is a fraud book. This is not the book of God. So how Muhammad, he take an oath in a book which you're saying it's a fraud? Huh? Any Muslim have an answer? I like your cat, by the way. 99% of the stories of Muhammad is coming from the father of, a, uh, the, father of the cats, Abu Huraira. May Allah bless your cat, my friend. You got busted your prophet. By your help, your prophet is getting busted. Uh, okay, guys, the prophet, he saw the original Torah at that time. That's mean that the original Torah was exist. So how Allah prophet could not preserve it? 
isn't it isn't it the Quran says that Allah he sent the Quran muhaymin which means to protect it <laughs> guys look what he said he said the, 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 the Torah at that time was preserved okay that's mean all your accusation is false because at that time your Quran says that the Jews they worship a guy his name is Uzair At that time, your prophet, he says, accuse the Jews that they corrupt their, 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 their book. Is that what their Jews, the Jews book saying? That Uzair is the son of Allah? So how your prophet, he swear by the Torah? Is that in your book or in my book? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Look at this verse, a disaster. This verse is a disaster, chapter three. Look at them, they don't care, they don't dare to, to call us, by the way. They are ashamed, they are afraid. They are text people. <clears throat> In Islam, we believe in four books, Zubur, Torah, Injil. That's a, that's a lie, because if you believe in them, then you should have them. I mean, this is the most stupid argument. How you believe in the books, you just say they are corrupt. Are you mentally ill? How you believe in books are not exist. Did you see the real, the, the, you, did you see the real Bible? A second ago, just to show you the madness of the cult of Islam, this guy a second ago he was saying that the Bible is corrupt and now he's saying he believe in the Injil he believe in the Torah how you believe in them but you don't have them do you have them we believe in them but do you have them no so how you believe in them that's mean you are a drunk person how you believe in them do you have them no we don't have them but believe in them stupidity Stupidity is intelligence these days. I believe in the Bible. Brother Antitar, we Muslim do we believe in the Bible? Uh, uh, brother, uh, like and like, is the Bible corrupt, brother? Absolutely. Uh, but so you are saying you believe in it. Exactly. But if it's corrupt, how you can believe in it? I told you I believe in it. But we don't have it. We don't need to have it, brother. We believe in it. Uh, but how you can believe in something you don't have? I don't have to believe in it in order to have it and you don't have to have it in order to believe in it. We believe in it. As an example, we believe in Allah, but we don't have Allah. There is no guarantee that Allah is a real God, but we believe in him. Uh -huh. Many Muslims have something to say? No, it's not taqiyah, it's stupidity. The guy here is arguing in a stupid way. Now, Mr. Uh, uh, the, the one who was uh, speaking about the Bible is corrupt. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he will not let anyone corrupt his words? Yes or no? And is the Injil from his words? Who's the Muslim wanna call me? I mean, why those Muslims are just what is what the problem? <clears throat> Did Allah make a false promise? Look what he said. And no and none can change his words. Who's talking? Allah. Is the Torah according to Islam is the words of Allah? Yes. So how the Quran says none can change his words and you Muslim says the Torah has changed. Dr. Hassan, he liked to call me. Okay, no problem. Give me your ID in Skype, Hassan.
<clears throat> especially if you're a doctor. Do you see it? Nobody can change the word of Allah. That is a contradiction. Here the Muslim, they will say, oh, he meant the Quran. Uh, that's stupid. Because here it says, nobody can change the words of Allah. The words, any words. As simple as that. But let me tell you why you Muslim, you say that. Because you could not find your prophet in our book, and Christian they refuse Islam, so you say it's corrupt. Because your book teaching totally 100 degree against the Bible teaching, so you say it's corrupt. But let me tell you the good news. I don't believe that the Quran is a corrupt book. I believe the Quran is a fraud. There's a huge difference between corrupt and a fraud. And I will explain to you, maybe you are slow. Corrupt, it's mean there is original, and the original change in it the Quran is not the Quran from the beginning the original is a fraud this is why I don't really try to prove the Quran to be corrupt because how you can corrupt the corrupt Muhammad himself is corrupt man the founder the maker of the Quran is a corrupt man Any Muslim? <clears throat> and then now we have zero Muslim to call. <clears throat> God who do not know where the sun set, he do not know how the baby is made, he do not know how, uh, the, uh, he think the women have a sperm. I mean, what's, what's wrong with this God? God, he think women have a sperm and the sperm came from her ribs? What is that? God, he think that the ice is coming from mountains in heaven and he break from there and he throw it at us. So it's very obvious that Muhammad is a scam, is a fraud. That's why we don't try to prove that the Quran is corrupt. Because there is no need. We have tons of proof that Muhammad himself is corrupt. And then whatever comes from the corrupt man is false. Exactly, he could not remember the order of creation. One place, uh, he say that the, the the trees and the the, the trees and the, the grass made made first, and the other verse says the the stars made first. Have you ever heard of God? He can't remember which one he made first. Why? He have a short memory. He is uh, suffering from aging. Like you get older, you you start forgetting things. Anyone? Maybe Allah, he got old and he lost his memory. You never know. I mean, things happen. Women, women call women dogs. That's a lie, my friend. You are a big fat liar. It is your Quran who make the women equal to poo, -poo and to donkeys. You want me to show you? Here we go. And now pause for us the verse where Jesus says women are dogs. I challenge you. It's a challenge from me to you. Here we go. Feel free. I'm waiting for you to pause the verse and everybody will die laughing at you. But let me show you that your Quran saying women are equal to poop. Are you there, Abdul? Two things will make you any clean if you touch the poop and women in Islam. And this is your translation. Or one of you comes from the call of nature or you have been contact with women. That will make you any clean. Do you see it? Now, pause for us the verse in the Bible is Jesus saying that women are dogs and you are a liar. 
the woman she said to him she as she is worshiping him so he is quoting for her what the Jews they say so if you don't believe in our God so why we will throw our jewel to the dogs our bread she said humbly even dogs they take the bread of their masters and then he blessed her and he said to her your faith is great and he did what she is asking for so you're a liar now is it true here that your prophet saying in the Quran Allah saying that if you touch women and poop you became unclean is that right or no and by the way it's your prophet who made women equal to dogs read this you're a prophet he said the three things will destroy a Muslim prior a dog and a woman and a donkey are you there Abdul is that your prophet saying that three things will disturb a Muslim man a prayer a dog and a woman and a donkey now I want you to say I'm lying go ahead <clears throat> Where is the guy who is fighting for women right he's a Muslim what happened three things will disturb will destroy your prayer if they if they walk in the front of you a dog and a donkey and the women are you there <laughs> so look what we found in the Quran the Quran saying two things if you touch them you are unclean boop your dirt when you do poo poo and women and Muhammad saying three things will destroy your prayer a dog and a donkey and the women what happened now you, you don't want to defend women right no more I thought you are against uh, women to be called uh, dogs Jesus never said women are called dogs you see God in Christianity is the only God he chose that God himself he come through a woman Christians is it true that we believe that Jesus our Lord he is born of a woman so if women are dogs in Christianity as this liar he said then how God himself he chose to be to, to, to be born of a woman that is a big fat lie my friend you are a liar like your prophet shame on you oh, I forgot you are just following Muhammad when they asked Jesus about what the women who was going to marry this woman when they go to heaven look what Jesus said he said he and she they will not get be married they will be the same as angels which mean women and men they will be equal in heaven so while Jesus saying women and men are equal in heaven your prophet was saying that your mother she will be a sex toy in the heaven for you somebody Hassan Ahmad, isn't it the same guy? This guy he called before. No, all of them they call themselves Hassan Ahmad these days. <coughs> Anyone? We gave him hello. This uh, Hassan Ahmad. He is not answering. I will give him two minutes. If you don't answer, I will block him. Let us give him a call. <coughs> He's not even he declined the call. So why he asked you to call him to call him? Hmm? Call decline. Hassan the hero. Bye bye, Hassan. Say hi to daddy.
Anyone? All right, guys. Let us see. I think we have enough for today. I hope we have a good time and we learn something. As you see, Muslims have no answer. And Muslims, they are very confused people. They are following a prophet. They themselves, they say he is a false uh, educator, which means he is ignorant, he is illiterate. They agree. Because a person, the Muslim themselves, they say he do not know how to write, how to read. That's mean Allah, he choose an ignorant to teach us. And then Allah, he asked him and he said to him, uh, hold on, by the way, uh, Allah said to Muhammad that Allah, the first he gave him, the verse says, he told the man by the pen. Are you sure you are talking about Muhammad? Do you see it, guys? This is the first chapter Muhammad he received from Allah. So the Muslim, they say Muhammad was illiterate. So how Allah in the first verse saying Allah, he taught the man by the pen. What the pen have to do with Muhammad? If Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. And this is the first chapter Muhammad he received. Allah saying to him, Allah who taught the, uh, uh, the uh, by the pen. Stupid religion. <laughs> Stupid religion. And by the way, the pen is not created by Allah. And the word pen is not even Arabic, but yet the Quran says this is a pure Arabic book. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Uh, guys, this guy, this Muslim, he's saying, don't wear women clothing. Okay, so why your prophet, he wear his wife clothing? The Jews, they forbid men from wearing women clothing. Do you Muslims forbid men from wearing women clothing or your prophet he used to wear women clothing? And why he was wearing women clothing? Any Muslim can tell us? Why Muhammad, he used to wear his wife Aisha clothing? Who wanna tell us? The Jews, they don't allow a cross dressing. Muhammad, he was doing cross dressing. Muhammad, he used to use eyeliner. He pee like a woman and he wear his wife clothing. Are you there? Abdul, are you there? Any Muslim would like to explain to us how a prophet of God, he wear women in clothing and why? What is behind those women in clothing and stuff? <clears throat> Anyone? We have no answer. Let us show some reference. What the Prophet was wearing? This is the Muslim translation, not mine. Are you there, Abdul? Yes, the Jews don't allow anyone to wear women's clothing. For them, it's a shame. For you, it's okay? I want an answer from you. You are the one who's against the teaching in the, in the, in the Old Testament saying don't wear women's clothing. He asked me to call again. Okay, hold on, because I blocked his name already. He did not answer. <clears throat> Let me find his name now.
We need to find your name. I hope now we will not call him and uh, he will not answer again. <clears throat> Hassan Ahmed. All right. Answer, Mr. Hassan. He's not there. Hassan Ahmed. Hello. Yes, Mr. Hassan. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are Hello. you? Go ahead. Hello, sir. I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? You are live on air. Hello. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, I was uh, listening to your conversation about uh, Quran and uh, I just wanted to make a point. I'm not like a debater, but I just want to make a point from where I've I lost you. I lost you. That uh, say during again. Prophet's lifetime. I, I, I say again, Hassan. I lost you. Sorry. Hello. During Prophet. Yeah. Uh, yes. So during Prophet's. Uh, so you, uh, as you were uh, making a comment about Prophet, that the Quran is uh, corrupted, right? Is what? Uh, you're, you're basically uh, making a comment that Quran is corrupted. Corrected? Corrupted, corrupted. No, 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 I did not say that. Yes, I cannot, you cannot corrupt something as a fraud. The, 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 the book is a fraud, all of it. It's okay, not corrupted. So, no. so, so, so first of all, uh, for, uh, so if you, if you don't believe that it's a revelation, that's one thing. But uh, I have, I can, I can uh, give you a logical thinking about uh, what, if it's a it's the revelation and if it's the book of god uh, uh it's the word of allah then uh, and then we can debate about whether it is changed over time or not okay, okay? I'm, I'm listening so Hassan, think, go ahead i'm listening go ahead take your time okay so my point was hmm. uh logically thinking okay hmm. so imagine uh the prophet okay hmm. and He's spending his life through, and the Quran has been revealed to him. Mm. And what what was going on that he, uh, there were like a lot of people who were actually memorizing it. Okay, mm. like they were like thousands. Mm. They were like thousands. Mm. You know that uh, it's it's been written in the books. Mm. And uh, let's just say even the goat had eaten it, like mm. the uh, the verses of the Quran, which were written. Mm. Okay, so what about those? thousands of people who had memorized it. Mm. Uh, so you're making a point is that, I mean, oh, all right, let's go back to the history. Let me ask you, did, where... you, did you memorize any song? Oh, no, did hold you, on, hold did on. you memorize any hold song on. in your life? Did hold you, on, did you, on, did you, did you memorize on. any song Just in your let life? Me, let me, com let me My complete. Friend Hassan, let me... I got your point. I got your point. But I'm asking Just one, you. What? There's, no, 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 there's one, millions one, of people memorize songs, gonna, but doesn't I'm mean that those songs, hold on, doesn't mean that those songs are from God. So no, I'm not no, asking no, you if the Quran on, is correct. Hold on, Listen, hold on. If, from the those beginning, we say who have memorized it. Yeah. You're saying that all of those people they decided, okay, we're gonna change Quran. No, 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 no. I did not say that. Not, no, no, I did not say that. You, you, you're not. You're, you're not listening. Okay. I said. I said from the beginning. How you can accuse the corrupt of corrupt, which means the Quran itself is a fraud. So how many people? Oh, re, the, how many here, people recite okay, so, the fraud, my friend? How many people recite the fraud will not make the fraud true? So what you are saying to me, because you oh, memorize the Quran, that will make okay, the Quran okay. uh, true. So what I'm asking exactly. you, can you prove okay. to us, can you prove to us that the, and you said to us that the goat ate the Quran. Okay, can you recite for me the verse where it says a, a, a woman, she should give her boobs 10 times? You said the you said the Muslims are memorizing by thousands. Okay, I want to, I want you to tell me this, this, this verse, just mm -hmm. only this verse. What is the verse? The, the verse says women, she should give her there, boobs 10 times. There. Time. there there is no worse like this. This is like hadith. This is what I just saying. No, no, one, a, 
What do you mean? No, no. This is no, what are you there talking about? No there is tons there of approvals of the. There is tons eight. of approvals. Uh, 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 listen, even uh, Aisha, okay. even Aisha, she was practicing uh, uh, breastfeeding for uh, for anyone when I enter upon her. She ordered her nieces, her sisters to do breastfeeding for adults for anyone when I enter upon her. Oh, okay. So, so what you're saying? Uh, so basically, you're making. A logic about like proving that I have to find this these verses in the Quran what is what will it prove to you just the give me, me that answer. what that your claim of thousands of people reciting the Quran that will uh -huh. make it legitimate no not reciting Quran memorizing Quran, memorizing actually, because recite, my friend reciting is a word mean memorizing you speak English better than me because recite what you memorize so they recite what they memorize and okay. that supposedly according to your logic will make the Quran accurate but here we go we have your prophet receiving verses from Allah saying a Muslim woman she can and she should give her boobs ten different times. Okay, okay, sir, sir, mm. sir, sir. And, uh, let me just clear one thing. Mm. Uh, it is it's like you're comparing the iPhone with an Android. Okay, here's the thing. Mm. Imagine if which one is the iPhone and which is uh, Android. The, the, your prophet is the gonna, iPhone. Your prophet no, is the iPhone. Dude, 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 sir, your sir, prophet sir. is the let iPhone. Just, let me, I'm, no, no, no. I'm just telling you something. Hold on. What mm. uh, my point was mm. that you're basically comparing Quran with Hadith. Okay. Mm. So hold on. If there is something which is contradicting, uh, which if Hadith is going against Quran, that's a weak Hadith. That's what we actually. Okay, guys, did you okay, hear so this? Did, 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 this, did, did, this? Did you hear this? Okay, there's a Hadith says don't do muta. The Quran says do muta. Which one you follow? You said to me, everybody heard Quran, it. Quran, you Quran. said, you said, if the Hadith, if the Hadith contradicts the Quran, we don't take the Hadith no more. Okay, the Quran says exactly. do muta. So what do you do? Do you where, do muta? The Quran does not say muta. I read Quran. Okay, chapter read chapter four verse 20, 23, 24. I've read Quran. Hold on. Okay. Uh, chapter. <clears throat> What's the chapter? Chapter four. Chapter four. Hmm. Hold on. It's on Google. Is it on Google, by the way? I mean, I thought in the Quran is in your chest. You memorize it. It's in Google now. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I have not memorized it. I've read it. Okay. Okay. And I mean, I've. I've um, I have like other things to memorize too, mm. but yeah, I hope I will one day. Mm. Chapter two, chapter, chapter four, four, chapter four, verse chapter number twenty-four. Four, yeah, verse number twenty-four. Twenty-four. What translation you like to read it from? Quran. Okay. No, I, I'll I'll see that. Uh, you want to see tafsir? No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. I'll, I'll see the. I'll see the whole context. Of course, oh, okay. I will. You'll see the whole context. Well, you are expert. Uh, well, must not the man is Hold on. Oh, okay, and also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so what's wrong with this? No, it says is, it says mastamtatum bihi. This is muta. The word muta is coming from me. Mastamtatum. You don't speak Arabic, don't you? Uh, I don't speak Arabic, but mm. I know how to uh, read Arabic. I can uh, read you, you it. You don't speak you. Arabic, don't... but you don't know. You know how to read Arabic. That's funny. How? What, what does that mean? Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, well. Uh, well, mohsanat, well, mohsanat, uh, you are reading in your uh, own language. You are reading your own language, the Arabic. But this is not Arabic. We know how that works. Now look. This is the interpretation. What interpretation you like me to show you? Which one is your scholar, favorite scholar? I don't I don't have like a favorite scholar. I, I can read it from here. My friend, can, my friend, you told me a, a second ago, you told me there's there's thousands yes. of Muslims who memorize the Quran. Okay, this is Ibn yes. Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. He was living in the time of Muhammad. Do you agree Sir, with him? Do you just, agree with him or not? Just hold on, hold on. Mm. Uh, uh, just Tell me the uh, translation. I want to. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you in the in the screen. Okay, I'm trying. I'm, I'm reading it in English actually. Sahi International. Well, Is this the what's same a, one? What's Sahi right? International? Sahi International is a translation for the Quran, not interpretation. What interpretation you like to? Read? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not reading the interpretation. Right. Okay. Now, just reading, reading the, the interpretation because you see, in order to not to waste your time and my time, Mr. Hassan. 
Can you give me interpretation for the verse? What as a scholar we should read it from? Ibn Abbas, Al-Jalalain, Al-Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, who? So scholars or Quran, which one is more? Oh, so now scholars are garbage. And no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm saying, hold on. My it's friend, sir, my sir, friend. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, I'm saying scholars because they are the one who they are in charge of explaining the Quran to you. So no, you're a scholar, not mine. I can read Quran on my own. No, you cannot. You yeah. don't even speak Arabic. Oh, hello. I can I cannot speak Arabic, but I can read Arabic. Okay, so how? Like so what's the benefit of reading? Okay, hold on. So now I'm going to open an, a, a, okay. a book in the Iranian language because Iranian they use Arabic letters, so I can read them, but I don't understand. That's that's very silly, my friend. You can get the translation. My friend, okay, understand. but the translation, but the translation, you okay? Do you agree the translation? Tra okay. And do you accept? Are two do you things? accept the translation? Do you accept the translation of the Quran? Yes. Okay, I, what translation do you accept? accept? What translation uh, do you accept? Whatever is Sahih International, this one. Of Sahih course, International. Everyone. Guys, this guy, he accepts Sahih International. This is the translation for the Quran. Are you sure? Yeah, it's written over here in front of me. That's okay. how I can read. Read for us Sahih Translation. Go ahead. So, and also uh, prohibited to you are all married women, hmm. except those your right hand possesses. Hmm. This is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these, uh, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, mm -hmm. desiring chastity, mm -hmm. uh, not unlawful sexual intercourse, not unlawful sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. Full stop. Okay. Uh, so, for whatever you enjoy of marriage from okay. them, all right. Give them their due compensation mm. as an obligation, mm. and there's no blame upon you mm. for uh, for what you mutually agree to mm. beyond the obligation. Okay. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing right. and wise. So, so uh, So okay. this is uh, the interpretation of the verse. All right. So uh, where does it say mata? Does it say? Uh, the, did you see the word enjoy? Yes. Okay. Yes. That okay. that that joy is a, is a full marriage or temporary marriage? Where does it say? Okay. So for whatever you enjoy of marriage from them, my friend, it no, says, no, 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 sir, no, 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 is to rape women they are married who they are slaves do we agree in that uh yes you can you can marry the uh, no slaves. not marry them to rape them don't say marry no no it's not it's not right it's they not are rape. married how you marry women sir, they are married they are sir, married it's they are married it's in the front you are the one who chose the translation not me you are the one who said this is yes a, okay yes, it okay, says it right. says <laughs> it's forbidden for you to women who they are already married except Yes, yes, of course, okay. of course. So, except what? Except your right process. Exactly. Okay, let That's me let, okay. Let me ask you, Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, when he says it's lawful for you, women already married. Mm -hmm. How you can marry a married woman, according to you? No, it says and married women except those your right hand. Thank possesses. you. So, married women are forbidden except married women who they are slaves. Oh, dude. There's like written in what Abdul, Abdul. This is you see, oh, hello. I don't like stupid. No, 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 you're no, not, no, 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 listen, listen, you're, listen, listen. You're basically don't make me, it. don't make me hang up on you because you are a kid. Do you like us to no, say I'm scholars? No, I'm not a kid. No, I'm a 34 year old. If person. you are not a kid, then accept, then accept, then accept, then accept, then accept. The translation, you, 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 the translation says it's written for you. It's all married women except. Do you speak English or not? All I married. This is your translation. All so married women are forbidden for you, except the slaves. In front of your eyes. Okay, listen, 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 listen. So let me let me ask you. Why? Okay, uh, Hassan, 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 Just to make right. it short. To make it short. Why yes. all the scholars of Islam agree with me against you, against you? Give me a reason. The, uh, uh, no, they don't agree with you. Here we go. Uh, okay, they let, agree with let, me probably. No, let us let us take it one by one. Here we go. Are you sure? If uh, if I yeah. approve it, I, if I approve it, you apologize yeah. and you you say clearly that you I'm, are you are a silly, stupid dude claiming knowledge. Are you willing? Okay. See, the, here the, we go. Take, you're you're basically using a foul language. No, no, no. Okay. I'm not. I'm we're, not we're, because, we're, because you're I'm a liar. Here we go. Those are the scholars. Choose one for me. Anyone. All of them. Why would? 
I have this. Listen, I'm doing. Listen, listen, listen. You are a silly. You are a silly, stupid. Again, I say it. I'm not. I'm not going to name. You are because then you have. You have to accept a scholar. What are you? What a scholar you accept? Give me a name. Where are your manners? Go up, man. You are a Muslim. You speak about manner. Running a YouTube channel. You're a prophet. Your prophet says, "Shut up, shut up." You are. You don't want to talk. Your prophet says, if you talk about man or the one who is proud about his heritage, tell him to go and buy the penis of your father. And you are talking about manner. I did not say to you, go and buy the pen, the penis of your father. I am not the one who says, go and suck the clitoris of your mother. Your prophet did. And you are talking about manner. And when I say to you, and I will call you again. I want you to show me a scholar agree with you. It's a challenge. Don't keep talking. Now, here we go. In this website, we have thousands of scholars explaining the verses. I challenge you to find one of them agree with you, and I will call you back. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so now, did you hear me? Yes, I can hear did you. Did your prophet say is the one who is proud about his inheritance, tell him to go and suck the penis of your father or bite it. Where does it say that? <laughs> Come here on. we go. Here we go. You, you, you say, you, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Would, okay, 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 okay. In the front of you, we'll put it. Okay, here we go. You're jumping. Uh, no, we are not jumping. We'll go. Back. Okay, you know, let us go there after we finish then. Because okay. I'm jumping. So, what scholar you agree with? Even okay, what is scholar? What is your scholar, please? Don't waste my time, sir, sir, sir. Either you're gonna question me or I'm going to question no, you. We are you're saying you are an Indian guy who don't speak Arabic, you don't speak good English, you don't speak your language, and you are trying trying to school me. So I'm not I've going to waste trying, my time. No, I'm not trying to okay, school so you. I'm asking I am you asking the you questions. Okay, no, no. You, you said you questions. said okay, you said that there's a scholars agree with you. Can you name one for me? I'm I'm asking you the question. You're not asking No, my no, question. you we need to prove your point, my friend. You need to prove it. You said I am lying about the muta. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, saying that this is a temporary okay. marriage. Dude, dude, okay, let's just say. Is that, say. Is that a temporary uh, marriage or not? Te a temporary marriage? It's in Shia. You know that. No, okay. this is Sunni. Ibn Abbas is not no, a Shia. Are you, are you stupid on. or what? This is uh, not a Shia. I, you are a stupid on, or man, what? Watch your Sahih al Bukhari is a Shia no, book. Sa it, Sahih al Bukhari it, is a Shia book. Dude, dude, it doesn't. Is Sahih, is, is Sahih al Bukhari is a Shia book? Is, is Sahih al Bukhari a Shia saying, book? I'm reading in front of you. <laughs> Say international people, just Google get the words. Don't call me just, just get lost. You are a stupid idiot. All the Muslim scholars and people are laughing at you. This is why you don't want the scholars to explain it. And you said, if something against the Quran, you will not accept it. The Quran, all of it, all the scholars of Islam say this is about temporary marriage, for a marriage for an agreed limited period of time. Who is talking? Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is a Shia. What about Ibn Kathir? <laughs> Ibn Kathir is a Shia. Al Tabari is a Shia. Al Qurtubi is a Shia. You are a stupid idiot. Al Bukhari is Shia. Shame on you, stupid idiot. The Shia they practice the 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 muta because there is no verse in the Quran forbid that, and you actually agreed with them because you said if any hadith against the Quran, we should not follow the hadith. Will the Shia they say the same? There is hadith saying the muta is forbidden, but in fact there is hadith saying the muta was a practice still practiced after Muhammad, and we can find tons of them. So this guy, he don't want to read his scholars. Because he knew that he's wrong. Secondly, if the Quran is a change or not, who care? The Quran is a stupid book. Sunset in murky water. Beat the women. Look at this. 
This is Sahih of the Shia or the Sunni, Sahih Muslim. The joke of uh, Shia is this is stupid. This is people are laughing at you. We did muta in the time of the Prophet, temporary marriage. And we did it in the time of the Prophet. And during the time of Abu Bakr and Umar, who is saying that the Sunni, this is Sahih Muslim, you idiot. This is not a Shia book. And it's Sahih, very authentic. So when we go in the Quran, we find this, and this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and he is a scholar for the Sunni and the Shia. What about Al Qurtubi? What about Al Jalalain? Al Jalalain must be Shia too. Hmm? I mean, it's amazing how they try to fool you. Big mouth. They speak too much, but they say nothing. That is the truth. And the funny, he says to me, you are using a bad language for what? For calling you stupid and liar? Well, you are. Because the reason I call you stupid, because you think by saying, I don't accept hadith, you can fool us. Well, the Quran order you to follow, to follow the hadith. Because the Quran itself is a hadith. So who are you to say, I don't accept the hadith? The Quran itself, it says it is a hadith. And when you say to me, I accept Sahih International as a translation, it's in front of you. It says, already it's forbidden for you. Women are married, except those who they are your right hand possess. And then he says, no, no, it doesn't say you can have sex with married women. It says, this is the translation you choose. Oh, we can go now to Ibn Kathir, all the Sunni scholars, not a single one of them agree with you. You know why? Because you are a liar. This is why you choose not to choose any of the scholars. Which scholars you want to read from? Shall I go to Ibn Kathir right now, live on air? In English? Are you going to say Ibn Kathir is a Shia? I think you will. Hmm? This is the only way to escape. Ibn Kathir is a Shia now. Hey, Ibn Kathir, are you Shia? Yes, I'm a Shia today. I converted to Shia them today. <laughs> Let us see what Ibn Kathir <laughs> he will say. Yeah, the Ibn Kathir must be Shia too. Al Qurtubi must be Shia. Al Jalalain must be Shia. Al Tabari must be Shia. Al Baghawi must be Shia. All of them, they are Shia, brother. Here we go. And you say to me, no, it's not about having sex with married women. Read it. Liar, idiot. Those you acquire them from war, they came to the prophet, says, should we have sex with them without marrying them? Even, even do we have orgasm inside? You know what I'm talking about. He says, yes, you can do that. Shall we stay uh, like, you know, we do like, uh, uh, you know, like we have sex without coming in? He said, no, no need that. So Muhammad, you don't care even to know who is the father. Read it. And this is Sunni book. We capture some women from an uh, area of at Atwas who were already married and we dislike having sex, sexual relationship with them because they are they already have husbands. So the prophet, he gave them this verse. Liar, idiot, stupid. Stupidity is ashamed of you because you are not stupid enough to join. You are more than stupid. You are like psh, mentally ill. And then here, let us see about the muta. Huh? <clears throat> so with those among you who have enjoyed, give them required do means to enjoy sexually, surrender to the blah, 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 blah. And then he says, read your idiot. This is Ibn Kathir. So those among you who have enjoyed them, give them the required do was revealed about the muta marriage a muta marriage this is why you don't want to read the scholars and you claim lying that the scholars agree with you you are a fraud like your prophet do you see it how we prove it easy so why you are lying to yourself You only talk about hadith. I'm not talking about hadith, you idiot. This is a Quran. 
This is Hadith now. <laughs> All this time we are reading this verse, and this is Hadith now. <laughs> Unbelievable! This is Quran. No, this is Quran. This is, uh, and why you don't want to talk about the Hadith? Are you ashamed of your Prophet, brother? Are, isn't it the Quran is a hadith? Here we go. The Quran says that the Quran is a hadith and it was collected the same as the hadith collected. The same. Oh, the Quran is a hadith. Here we go. Chapter 4, verse 20, 42. Quran is a hadith. 487. Read and love, right? And actually, we will show you a verse where it says clearly that the Quran is the best of the hadith. All of these verses say in the word hadith. All of them, they are talking about hadith. All those verses, it says the Quran is a hadith. Ignorant. <clears throat> Any Muslim? No, hadith not me insane. Hadith is a speech mention. Do you see it? Allahu nazzala ahsan al hadithi kitaban. Do you see it? So why you are arrogant? The Quran is a hadith. And by the way, the Quran should not be collected by the Muslims. Look what the Quran says. Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Qur'anuhu. It is on us, Allah saying, to collect the Quran and to recite the Quran. So why, who is, where is the Quran today, which collected by Allah? <clears throat> Wrong verse, here we go. In Alaina, the search engine is stupid. Okay, here we go. Chapter 75, verse 17. It is on us to recite the Quran and to collect the Quran. And look at the translation here. Indeed, upon us is collection and put between two brackets in your heart. <laughs> in your heart. <laughs> See how they try to find between two brackets in your heart. How how it is a book and it is in your heart and people will die. It doesn't say in your heart. That's a false translation. You change the translation of the word in your heart, disappear. Why? Because it's a fraud. As usual. What is in your heart? Huh? Just change the translator. Liars. There is no honesty. We believe all people born Muslim. That is, that's another stupid. I agree with you. All Muslims are born Muslims. Because when you are a Muslim, you know, when you are born, you eat even your poo-poo. Okay, that's me. You are ignorant. So you are a Muslim and you stay Muslim. But the difference is that somebody here is a baby. He eat his poo-poo when he is a kid. But when he grow, he understand that this is wrong. In your case, you keep doing it. This is why the prophet, he ordered you to drink camel urine and you think it's a holy order. So when you are a kid, you are a Muslim, you drink poop, you drink, you eat poop or you drink piss. That is the truth. And by the way, everyone is born as a Muslim. Correct, guys? 
he just said Muhammad he said but this is in the hadith so he don't want me to talk about the hadith but they quote the hadith for me and as long everyone is born as a Muslim so why a newborn baby he will go to hell look at this hadith you just said something very important <laughs> Everyone, brother, is born as a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Aisha and Muhammad, they went to a funeral, and a child from a Muslim family of Al-Ansar, he died. He said he will be, this child, he will be a bird from the bird of paradise. Muhammad, he says, might be otherwise, he might go to hell. So how a child, he is born as a Muslim, he died as a Muslim, he go to hell. Explain to me. I will tell you why, because Muhammad, obviously, is a fraud. He contradict himself. This guy not only born from a Muslim family, as you said, everyone is born as a Muslim. So, okay, he's a child. He never commits sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. Look what Aisha, she said. Okay, guys, this is because Muslim go to submission. What this guy is talking about? It's a kid. It's a baby. You just told me yourself that everyone born is a Muslim. So how you submit to Allah and you are a baby? And if you submit to Allah and you are a baby, and you tell me that every baby is a Muslim, so how the baby who is a Muslim will go to hell? Solve the problem, go ahead. <laughs> what, a, what a stupid cult. A brother and sister, every person is born in a Muslim. Okay, this guy, he is born as a Muslim. There's a separate test after life. Guys, there's a taste after life for the baby. <laughs> they will take the baby to night the club and they will say to him, do you like to drink camel urine or do you like to drink whiskey? If he accept whiskey, he go to hell. If he accept camel urine, he will go to heaven. Man, just go, just go. Let, you, let your dad talk to me, idiot. After life, there is a test for a baby. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? After life, the guy he died. But isn't it the Quran says that Allah will judge you until you 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 your last your last breath, and then after that there's no that's it. This is against the Quran, you idiot. I hope idiot will not be upset from me because I'm using it too much. They might sue me. They say, hey, you don't call those people idiot. They don't fit there. They are more than idiots. Anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, to to stop for now. Do we have a good time? Don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish because uh, we don't keep them for long. But as you see, the Muslims are desperately trying to fool us. You know, like we showed you how Mr. Hassan lying openly about his book and trying to prove to us reservation of the Quran by saying that we memorize the Quran, but he himself do not memorize one verse. And not only that, the reason for the Quran to be collected because Muslims were dying and left and right. And Uthman ibn Affan himself, he burned all the other Quran. Why? Because they are different. If they are the same, we don't burn them. If we have the same books, if we say we have 10 Quran and all of them, they are exactly the same. Why would not burn them? He burned them all. And he made his own version. And by the way, they don't have even the book of Uthman. What they have today is recitation of Hafs according to, 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 according to Uthman, according to Muhammad. <laughs> they don't have a book. The book of Uthman is nowhere to be found. Even the book of Hafs, nowhere to be found. There's no book, it's called Book of Hafs. Recitation of Hafs. And Hafs, according to Muslim Sunni, is a fraud. This is why any hadith from Hafs is invalid. Why? Because he is a fraud. So how you accept a person, you accuse him to be a fraud, to give you the book. Hafs accused by Muslim Sunni, not Shia, that he is a fraud and he is a thief and he is a liar. 
if I type right now in Google give me a second in the front of your eyes just to show you what the Sunni they say about Hafs <laughs> Here we go. This is a website. It's called Ahlul Hadith. The people of Hadith. Muslim Sunni. All of it is people. They are Sunni. And they are quoting for you how many Islamic books. The one who is posting. I just I choose. I mean anything in the internet. Abu Abdullah Ariyani. Multaqa Ahlul Hadith. This is the website. All right. It says. Oh, you know what? Let me translate the page for you to English. Why I want to do that? I mean, where is translation? Uh, it doesn't appear. I think I have to use Google. Yeah, I think I need to open it in Google uh, browser. Okay, hold on. Let us open it in Google. Translate to English. Here we go. And let us zoom in a little bit and look at this disaster what the Muslim they say about Hafs. I saw that Hafs ibn Sulaiman said blah 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 blah. Okay, no, no, blah 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 blah. You can read, and then you will see. Let me let me you know just to make it uh, uh, simple. Uh, what we will search for hold on just to avoid reading all of it but all of them they say that he is not trustworthy he is a liar he is a fraud uh, he does not they do not accept his hadith all hadith is munkar munkar which means ah, yuck <laughs> yuck All the hadith are not only the if actually this is not a great translation it's rejected and uh, he said does not write his talk does not don't write his talk because he's a liar he's not he's not uh, accept he's not uh, like uh, 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 you know credible to write uh, he make up stories uh, like translation of Google is not he's a liar look he's a liar he make up hadith do you see it he's a liar who make up hadith and hold, those are the reference. The Muslim scholars are saying that he's a liar. All those reference saying one thing: that Hafs is a fraud. He used even to steal books, and he write it and make it in his name. Do you see it? This is the one you are reading the Quran from. Is a fraud according to the Muslim Sunni, not the Shia. But you know, for me, I don't focus on those things because who cares if the Quran changed or not, if the goat ate the Quran or not. Aisha, she said that the, 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 the chapter of Al Baqarah used to be equal to the chapter of Al Ahzab. That's mean there's 200 verses are missing in one chapter alone. Omar. Ibn Khattab, he said, and this is a Sunni hadith, not Shia, that the Quran was a million and uh, uh, and uh, a million twenty, uh, hold on, a thousand, thousand and twenty-five thousand letter, I think, which mean a million and twenty-five thousand letter, as I remember the hadith. But what we have today is not even twenty percent. So where are they? But I don't care really if the Quran is gone or not. The Quran today is a stupid. What about you? You prove to me that the Quran we have today is not a stupid. God who thinks the sperm is coming from a sperm of a woman when women they don't even have a sperm. From the chest of a woman, from where? From the location of the necklace. That's what we care for. The Quran is corrupt, the Quran was not. That will not change anything. But I don't waste my time. 
my friend, you were born as a Catholic and you used to be the Pope. I know all this game. I know it. You know what? Why you don't call me Mr. Catholic who was born as a Catholic? To, just to get you busted. All Muslims who they claim, they come here, they say to me, I was a Catholic. Nobody was a Protestant and nobody was Orthodox because in Islam, they, they consider number one enemy to them is the Catholic. Everybody was a Catholic. Even the Mother Teresa, she converted to Islam. By the way, the Pope who died last year, he became a Muslim. Stupidity. We, we laugh at you. Once I went to a Muslim chat room and I paused there. I said, hey, guys, the Pope and his, uh, and, uh, his, the, his mother-in-law and his third wife who passed away last year, they converted to Islam today. The admin in the chat, he said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, stop, guys, stop the text, stop the text. Look, 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 look what this brother is saying. Look, 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 look. The Pope, mother-in-law who passed and his wife who passed away last year, they converted to Islam today. Allahu Akbar, stupidity. I just said who passed away last year. And the room, the chat room went so crazy. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, takbir, Allahu Akbar. Like, they don't have a brain. Just said to them, a Catholic who converted to Islam because this is their enemy. She passed away last year. And then one of them, he says, brother, he says, pass away last year. How this happened? So they, uh, oh, I bounce him, brother, bounce him, kick him out of here. He's making fun of us. But it was too late. <laughs> Stupidity. All of them, they used to be Catholic. By the way, we have the sons of the founder of Hamas, one after one leaving Islam. Don't you know? We have millions of Kurdish and Persian and Arab are leaving Islam. Don't you know? We have the prophet wife who left Islam. Don't you know? Isn't it true that the prophet wife who left Islam and she became a Christian? Imagine the prophet wife, she left Islam and she became a Christian and she married a Christian man. The prophet wife himself. Maybe we should make a video about this topic. We don't talk about it usually. Any Muslim? May they, may they. <coughs> the Muslim is texting me in in Skype. There we go. We just got somebody here when I leave Islam. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the at the chat. So, do we have any Muslim here? See, because after we heard this conversation with Mister Hassan, there's a guy. He says to you know, I check what you said, and. You know, I, I will let him. It's up to him if you want to call. And he is agreeing. He said everything you said, I found it to be true. So look like this guy, he is leaving Islam. I don't know. I'm waiting for him to say yes. Who is next? Tell us about the wife. Which wife? What wife? <clears throat> you mean the wife who the wife of Muhammad who left Islam? Her name is Qatila. She left Islam and she gave Muhammad a big uh, she married his enemies
نو no, قتيلة نات قتيرة قتيلة قتيلة بنت قيس بن سعد بن سوري قتيلة بنت قيس grandfather I think his name anyway from the from the tribe of Kinda Can you prove Christianity is true? Yes, by, by proving Islam to be false, I just did. Because that's mean, you see, Muhammad already agreed that Jesus is a prophet, right? And you believe what Muhammad said, correct? Okay. And Muhammad, he says that Jesus is right now in heaven. So already, already, I do not need to prove to you that Muhammad saying that Jesus is in heaven and he is a prophet. So what is left? To prove to you that Jesus is God? Well, he's in heaven. <laughs> Everybody is dead except Jesus in heaven. So if you believe in what Muhammad said to you, which I don't believe in what he said to me, that alone is enough to prove that Jesus is God. Why need to prove to you anything? If you believe that Muhammad was saying the truth, that Jesus, he made people who they are dead coming from the ground, and he breathed into the mud, which means he gave life from his breathing, that's mean he's God, because this is how God he created. The proof that the Christianity is true is in your book. Otherwise, how Jesus, he breathed, and from his breathed life come. Not from the breath of Allah. Like Jesus did not make uh, a statues or a, a figure of mud and he say, Allah, make it alive. No, he breathed into it. The Muslim then they say, oh, it says that by the will of Allah, who care? This is your claim. According to you right now, I am attacking Islam by the will of Allah. Prove it. And if this is true, that means Allah is stupid. <clears throat> this is your Quran. I. Okay. The Quran says that those are signs which uh, Allah support Jesus with. I have come to you with the signs and I make for you out of the clay as if it were a figure of a bird. And I breathe into it. You see here, they don't take that. They took the eye off. Change the translator, you will see the eye. Just to show you. This is Joseph Ali. Let us go to the front translator. Where is the eye? Does it say eye? Yes, it says eye. Read it. See? Yosef Ali, there's no eye. Here is eye. And I breathe into it and make it a bird. And then they say to me, by Allah, Lee. Read in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? So what in Arabic? So, but the funny, you are asking me to read in Arabic, but you don't know Arabic. Idiot. You just said that you are an ex-Catholic, so you do not know Arabic. And now you are asking me to read in Arabic. I mean, who is the fool here? Yeah, 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 you know Arabic. Yeah. Call me, call me. Call me, Mr. Arabic, you know Arabic. Call me so we can laugh. You see how you get yourself busted? Yeah, yeah. Okay, call me. You, you, you said you are Lebanese. Okay, call me and I will ask you a very simple question about Lebanon. Call me. A Lebanese who speak Arabic, obviously he know everything. Just call me. Can we take from your time a moment, Mr. Ex-Catholic? Myers. <clears throat> By the way, I used to be Muhammad. Yeah. And... Uh, Allah guide me and made me Ali. And then Allah guide me again and I became a Christian prince. Eh. Like uh, Mirza Ghulam, he was married for three years and then Allah, he made him Jesus. This is what the Ahmadiyya believe in. That Ahmad Mirza Ghulam was, was Mary, the mother of Jesus for three years. He transformed the gender, transgender, you know. He was Mary, he became Jesus. 
Three years he was Mary. And then one day he woke up in the morning, he found himself Jesus. And this is a religion, more than 30 million, they follow it from the Muslims. Do Muslims follow anything? Like a chicken following anything, like a baby, a baby chick, when he came out of the egg, anything move in the front of it, even if it's a cat going to eat him, he follow it. And the funny, <clears throat> Uh, you will embrace Islam. I embrace Islam already every day. I don't you see? I do. I, I do what Jibril do. I embrace Muhammad and I squeeze him. Mister Free, have you ever heard of a prophet? He been squeezed to be activated. I uh, Free, why you don't call me and explain to us if Muhammad is a prophet of Allah? Why the angel did not say to him Assalamu alaikum and he starts squeezing him? Oh, I know what the secret behind the squeezing. Do you know? You see, I embrace Muhammad, Islam already. That's why I'm squeezing Muhammad every day. And you see what is coming out of him. That's why we ask people to bring their diaper with them. Here we go. You're a prophet saying that a man, he came to him, he did not say, Assalamu Alaikum, and he starts squeezing him falsely. And he said to him, read. But the prophet do not know how to read. Look like the angel, he do not know that the prophet do not know how to read. So he squeezed him again. And the prophet, he said, I couldn't read. You know, like, and then he squeezed him for the third time. I mean, everything in Islam is a three. The first thing happened to Muhammad was a three. But they are against Trinity. Anyone can tell us why he squeezed uh, Muhammad three times? Is that in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? And what the angel was expecting from the squeezing to come out? What is exactly the purpose of the squeezing? There is a clear evidence that a human invent gods, a human have invented many gods. Well, you invented uh, Allah, here we go, you never saw Allah. You have a prophet who tried to commit suicide many times. Look at this, the same hadith. Here we go. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. The prophet, when Waraq ibn Umar, he passed away, he became so sad and he intended to throw himself from the top of the mountain many times. Do you see it? You have a crazy prophet. If you search right now, why someone will intend to throw himself or to kill himself? Either he lost hope or he is mentally ill, like something happened, a disaster happened in his life. This is a prophet of God. He just started to be a prophet. Why want to throw himself from the top of the mountain? Unless it's mental illness. They, oh, they challenged me, but they are in the chat. Why they didn't call me? Anyone want to tell us why Muhammad tried to throw himself from the top of the mountain? Isn't it Muhammad, he said, the one who tried to kill himself as suicide, not suicide bomber, suicide, which means not to kill the enemy, just to kill himself. He will enjoy hell forever. So why Muhammad trying to enjoy hell forever? Any Muslim have an answer? And why he's trying to commit suicide? Because Muhammad, he don't believe he's a prophet. Read carefully. Each time he tried to commit suicide, the angel, he appeared in front of him. He says to him, Oh, Muhammad, you are indeed a messenger of Allah. In truth, whereupon in his, his heart become quiet and he come down and he go back home. Second day, he come back to throw himself. What a crazy guy. <laughs> the angel just yesterday, he told you, you're a prophet. Why you are doing that again? Because he's mentally ill. A camel wheel, I'm not enjoying you. I'm not I'm not ignoring you, but you are a camel and you are a wheel. What I would do with you? I ride a car and I don't drink camel urine. So what I would do? What is your need, camel wheel? Any Muslim have an answer? And the funny, by the way, I mean, the story here is kind of a drama because look what happened. 
Muhammad, he climbed the mountain. This is Muhammad. Muhammad climbing the mountain, there again, there again, there again, there again. And the mountain is so high. So like they say, Muhammad is going to Everest. And this is the Everest mountain. Muhammad is doing hiking now. Muhammad, he keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going here in the top of the mountain. And then when Muhammad, he arrived in the top of the mountain to throw himself, now Jibreel appear and says, you are a prophet. Why you don't say that to him before he started climbing the poor guy? I mean, you wait until the last moment. And now the poor Muhammad, he have to go down all the way. And then second day, Muhammad, he do the same. He climb, started climbing the mountain. Muhammad now is a climb in the mountain. Muhammad now is going up in the mountain. Muhammad now is going high in the mountain. Muhammad is sweating in the mountain. Muhammad is so tired in the mountain. Muhammad, he can't breathe going up to the mountain. Muhammad almost fell down from the mountain. Muhammad hold the rock of the mountain. Muhammad he arrived to half of the mountain. Muhammad now is arrived to the top, almost to the top of the mountain. Muhammad climbing more to the mountain. Muhammad now is arriving almost there. Muhammad now is getting ready to be there. Muhammad now is there. And then the angel appear for him says, don't throw yourself. Don't throw yourself. You are truly a prophet. Why you don't tell the guy before he leave his home? If this is what solve the problem. You wait for him until he go in the top of the mountain. And the poor guy, he, he, he lost like 10 pounds every time he go. I can imagine Muhammad became so skinny then. I mean, imagine, put, you, put yourself in his, his shoes, I mean his panty. Climbing the mountain. Every day climbing the mountain. And the angel appear only when Muhammad, he want to jump. I think the angel, he is doing that in purpose. He said, like, let, let him, let him go. Let him go. Yeah, climb, climb up. Mm -hmm. Go up, go up. Muhammad, continue, continue. Uh -huh, go, go, go. The poor Muhammad, when he arrived at the top, the angel, a bingo. Hey, Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, don't jump, Muhammad. You are truly a prophet. And the prophet, he says to him, really? I'm a prophet? He says, yeah, truly, you are a prophet indeed, brother. And then the prophet, ah, ah, okay, because I thought I'm not a prophet. No, you are a prophet. Okay, what is this, what this is drama is about? You know, an Indian movie is, is made better. I mean, you watch an Indian movie from the first scene, you know what will happen in the end. Well, Muhammad movie is, an, is not even an Indian movie. Look at this. Every day. And then when he come, whenever he come, the period coming of inspiration used to become long, he would do as before. Like, what the heck? This guy, he like it. He liked to go to the mountain. He would, I, let me throw myself. I want to throw myself. And then the angel come. What is this? I mean, the director of this movie is horrible. Come with the better story. Where is Muhammad in the top of the mountain? Where we can find Muhammad in the top of the mountain? What Muhammad want to do? Want to throw himself up? So nobody believe him no more. Muhammad want to kill himself. Muhammad want to kill himself. Let me, I want to go. Okay, let him go, 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 go. And this is what happened. Muhammad, he say he want to kill himself. He go all the way to the top of the mountain. Nobody follow him. He thought that his family, they would go after him. Please, Muhammad, don't do it. Let us call the FBI to talk to you in the negotiation. What do you want? I want an iPad and I want iPhone and I want my internet for free. Otherwise, I'm going to jump. But nobody follow him. Nobody care. Okay, kill yourself. So he go all the way to the top of the mountain. Nobody care. He come back and he claimed that the angel appeared to him. So down the stairs, he said to him, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to kill myself. Nobody care. His wife did not follow him. His family did not follow him. Okay, Muhammad, go. Go, Muhammad, go. Because they knew he's a, he's a potato. He, would not, he say things, nobody, he don't mean it. Okay, Muhammad, just go, brother. Why you don't debate in real life? Somebody tell you this is not real life, you idiot. <laughs> Why you don't debate in real life? We must be dead now. Why you don't debate in real life? <laughs> because if in a computer and I make you do poo-poo, so imagine in real life what will happen.
if we are just using a computer, what will happen in real life? I will squeeze you and Hamas will come. Hamas. Real life. Anyway, I think we are done for today. I want to say thank you, guys. We have 1,000 likes only. Why? Why? If the program is about lipstick, we will get more likes. Honest to God, I saw some programs. Women, they are talking about lipstick, uh, jeans. They have like four or 5,000 people watching live. You believe it? I think I'm going to change my program. I will make it about lipstick. Uh, about uh, eyeliner. How to make up, uh, make a makeup. Hmm? Then people will come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I found a solution to make you uh, watch me more. Uh, guys, if you don't come tomorrow, I'm going to climb the mountain. Okay? I'm going to climb the mountain in Colorado. And I'm going to jump in the top of the mountain. So by the time I, I go in the top of the mountain, if I don't see in my chat room, I have like uh, 5,000 people, I would, I, will, uh, I will throw myself. And then when I arrived to the top of the mountain, I found that you know, still there are just 1,000. Nobody care, really. <laughs> I said to myself, let me, let me try again. Okay, guys, today I'm not going to the, because NZ is a real, he appeared to me. I will do it tomorrow. I'm going to climb the mountain tomorrow and I'm going to jump. I will kill myself if you did it to 5,000 people. And then the second day I do the same. And nobody come. Nobody care. Not only that, people will start saying, hey, CP, when you do it? Like, come on, go. Hey, buddy, please, for the sake of the legs, that's the, for the sake of the shin of Allah. <sighs> okay, let's block this guy. Anyone will flood the text, we will block you. It's very easy. Take us one click. It take us only one click. This is how easy it is. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. If you like this video, don't forget to download it before the video throw himself from the top of the mountain. And if he throw himself from the top of the mountain, then it's going to be very hard to put it together. So, brothers and sisters, if you believe in Allah, brother, and you believe in his heaven and his prophet who tried to throw himself many times, brother, download the video and share it with everybody so we can learn how we can throw ourselves from the top of the high mountain for it is very, very nice, very beautiful. Here we go. The prophet was trying to learn how to fly. It's very much of adventure. Hmm? Very much. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And uh, we see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false, and we prove it every day. Take care. Bye-bye.